Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review. Today, I'm going to be reviewing A Book and Start by Anton. And this is an important one, so please keep watching. Before we do the review, can you please like, subscribe, check out carmagiccourse.com. It's really, 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 really good. Obviously, I would say that, so have a look at it and see what other people are saying about it. So I said this is an important one to watch for a couple of reasons. The first reason is that you might not know who Anton is, so it's important that I tell you. Well, I'm not going to tell you who he is, but that'll make sense in a minute. The second reason is because this is a self-published book, it's easy to not find self-published books because there are so many self-published books now, and it's hard for me to find the good ones because I get sent a lot of them, and there are some that are quite questionable. It's not hard to publish your own book these days, so it's... So it's, it's almost easier for you not to find it, if you see what I mean. So it says at the beginning of this, he does explain, Anton is not who wrote this book. Anton is a pseudonym because, and this says a lot, if you think about it, someone sees a show and they enjoy a show and it's a mind reading show, a mentalism show, and they Google your name and find a book full of your material, maybe some material that they've just seen, it kind of kills it, doesn't it? So there's a sacrifice to be made. The sacrifice is you can use your name to sell the material, but know that that is Googleable and Googleable. That's a good word. Uh, Googleable, and it could kill the magic for the people that have just seen it. Or you can do it anonymously, probably not sell as much stuff, not be able to push it so much online, but still maintain that respect for the material. That will tell you an awful lot about the amount of respect Anton has for not just his material, but magic itself. And that's easy. Uh, important to know, sorry, because he does question and challenge a lot about this, the existing state of magic at the moment. So you've got to know that comes from a place of respect and a place of love. And by the time you've read the book, if you read it cover to cover, you'll know that. But those questions are really important. The, the book is not what I thought it was. Anton has performed in my shows. He's a performer that I love watching. I, I think he, he's intelligent. It, he... He just brings something really fresh to material that, that method-wise we may have seen, but brings a character and a comedy to it that is that I just love. I asked him actually to perform on my 40th birthday, and that's not, you know, there, there isn't many people asked to perform on my 40th birthday. When he sent me a PDF of this a long time ago, I didn't read it because I thought, I've seen your material, I know your material, I like your material, but I don't need to learn it, it's not really what I do. I revisited it for a couple of reasons recently. One of them is because of what's happening at the moment with with the situation. Um, and it's the 2nd of April, so we're kind of on lockdown-ish. But I've decided to look again at people that are producing their own stuff a little bit more often. Not just that, but I, I think it's part of what I want to do. But I still need to be honest about it. The other reason I didn't read it is because I kind of know him. And I I've got a bit of a rule with people I know. I don't like reviewing their stuff because if I have questions about it, I feel dodgy about kind of you know if I don't like it it's it's awkward you know so luckily for you really it's not the book I thought it was as I said it does have his routines in it they are brilliantly written up we will discuss that in a minute but what it is is a toolkit to take you by the hand and allow you to learn to create your own premise create your own presentations uh, and routines around the methods you already know. And this is something I have a huge problem with. I find it so difficult to do, to sit there with a blank page and a trick that I might have been doing 10 years or someone's been doing 10 years, you know, out of these books and go, how can I look at that differently? It's, I find it really tough, really tough. Not anymore. And, I'm, and that is pretty profound. This has exercises in that will take you from blank page to creating character, creating story creating routine. I don't mean story as in here's a card trick I'm going to tell you a story as I do the Ansley count it's I mean that sometimes works but it's not about that it's something bigger and for example well I'll go through the routines in a minute so he's someone that is right in it with his, he does Edinburgh shows he does a lot of shows but he's on the outskirts of the magic community so he's, he's he's kind of coming to magic as I did which I think shows in the writing but that's not a good or bad thing it's just a a thing I'll go through what's in the book so it starts off challenging the, the, the status quo a little bit, which is very important to do, I think. Uh, intro to improv. 
he's someone that's taught improvisation, that created a lot of material through improvisation. And you think of, you know, favorite performers of mine, most of their material will come through improvisation. No, you might have the material, but you will imp do some sort of improvisation, improvisational process to come up with the meat of the routine. I think it's kind of the only way we can do it a lot of the time, whether that's improvising on paper or getting up and doing the stuff. He takes you through an exercise on paper that by the end of it, you will have premise, you will have character. And I don't mean that to be a different character from yourself. It just could, it makes you ask yourself questions about who are you as a performer. And then importantly, it will be then easier to choose what material you do and how you perform it. I found it really rewarding. It kept me up at night. I read the book, couldn't sleep, got up, got the bits of paper and just had a blast doing it and came up with some stuff that I've tried to do for years in my own way. Ventriloquist, beautiful routine. I'm not going to go into the routines in detail, but again, he takes something that is a method that you would know and builds so much around it that the method almost becomes invisible. Just incredible. And a lot of mentalists do this, but he does it very well. I mean, Luke Jermaine does this as well. He takes something that we all go, oh, is that how he does that? But he just creates so much that you can't backtrack. He does just a lovely thing with, with a kind of mirroring thing where he creates a, a ventriloquist doll out of the person um, who comes up and helps him out, which could be bad, but it's not. Uh, <laughs> improv to creation. Again, this is, this is exercise, an exercise to take you from that thing of what have I got to creation of something really special in, in another way. He does it with the, with, at the beginning, but he then does it again, which I, and you'll see, I, I might put it on here. <laughs> I was reading this at night on another night and he says in it, you know, do the exercise, get up and take an, take a, an existing routine, do whatever with it. I'm not going to give it away. But I got up and did it and I started doing this weird thing and I was going, this isn't really working. This feels weird. But by the end of it, I went, actually, and I started making these links to what I was saying, which sounded like nonsense at the beginning to actually coming up with some really interesting ideas, not just for that routine, but for a show. And what he also says in start, which we'll mention in a minute, uh, and in this is that there's no such thing as wasted creative time. If you come up with ideas, it doesn't work. That's all part of the thing. It's the kind of, it's the oil that makes it all run. And that's what I found with this. Really, I'm really, really quite a profound experience reading this book. Again, I thought it was just a mentalism book with his stuff in it. You know, dribble, brilliant routine, which is, again, a huge premise based on an existing thing of, of, uh, of someone basically, you know, the easy thing, cut cards, I can tell you how many cards you've cut, but it goes into a whole new thing, gives it a premise that's just about believable that will make you look like a card ninja. Um, being present is, again, the idea of, of improvising on stage, but staying in the moment and not trying to rush forward and, and, that, and talks about that thing when we, when we talk really quickly and how to avoid that. Really practical stuff. What the Duck is one of the funniest routines I've read. I started reading this. I've never seen him perform it. I was laughing reading it. It's almost like a method-wise, it's almost like a bank night thing, but again, puts this hilarious idea which creates tension and fun and can work close up and parlor um, on stage. And, you know, I think you'll want to take that routine. That's another thing. You'll want to take that and you'll just want to do that. And I think you have that with his blessing, but I suppose the point is you want to do your own stuff. Um, dealing with hecklers, it gives you information. And this is where I thought it, this, he knows this stuff because I was a street performer for so many years and I know how to deal with hecklers. I'm not being begetted. I just had to for so many years. And it's not the way many people say it. it's not about coming back with a heckle line. It's a about knowing what that heckle means and where it's from and what you can do with it that is respectful and will either kill the show or make it better. And honestly, gold dust. Joke diary, oh my God. The diary trick, great. This gives it a whole new meaning and again, is hilarious. Uh, improvisation, an idea about notebooks, a, a couple of little things, really nice things here. Uh, Are You Gamey then gives you games to do with somebody else to come up with ideas, which not necessarily for a double act, but just help you come up with loads of ideas. You can actually, I tried to do a couple of them myself, and you can do it. Uh, Cold War Cash, which again takes an existing thing, serial number on a banknote, which is kind of dry sometimes, and gives it a huge meaning, a proper, proper meaning and story. And you can see, because he, he gives you the the process he goes through to come up with the ideas, you can see them in the ideas now. And, and so the routines are, are proof of the ideas that you've been reading about. So before we go on to talk about start, the, when he talks, takes you through the routines, he spends a lot of time on this. This is 200 odd pages, this book, and he, he spends time, he gives you the routine as the audience see it, 
and he talks you through that as a spectator. He then gives you the, the secret, if you will, the revelation, and then takes you through the annotated script and why he says everything. And every single word is, this is why I do this. This is really important to get this person on stage like this, because if you don't do this, they're going to... It's absolute gold. And I've seen him in action. I know this is not, as he says, not BS. This is something that, that he does day in, day out as a professional performer. I know I'm gushing, I'm doing that because I, I, I've just got so much out of this. Start is, take the, the hardest thing about any of this stuff is starting, all right? Now you've kind of, this takes you through a lot of that because it allows you to start. This gives you even more. It tells you why it's difficult to start, why it's easier to start writing for other people than it is for yourself and, and understands and empathizes as that, that to go from a blank page, like I've said, to a whole routine is so difficult. Again, he gives you, the information that you need to inspire you to do this, but then talks you through it. And I mean talks you through it. He gives you, do this, do this, then do this. Here's some ideas, do that. And honestly, I swear by the end of it, you're going to have a premise, an idea that is yours, that is original, that comes from your life. Now, it might not be brilliant, as what I said, but it's the start of doing that and then coming back to it and doing that and, and, and working that muscle so you're used to doing it and the creativity will start happening a lot quicker and I, I kid you not I read this over three nights every night I couldn't sleep because I was I was thinking of ideas for for routines and that doesn't happen ideas don't flow for me I'm not you know you look at my routines yeah hands up I take routines I don't change them that much a lot of the time and in and reading this has not no, not made me ashamed of that but really made me question it and go it's not as hard as I thought it was we can do this and even if it doesn't have to be an amazing narrative it doesn't have to be an amazing presentation but just something that makes it not I'm going to do this then that then that yay there's some magic and what I love about it he says in it something like he says magic is so powerful that we've got this thing already that we can deal with. It sort of should be really easy because we've got a miracle and how can we put some meaning on that miracle? You know, it's not like we're starting with nothing. We do have something that is a gift to us that we can build on and create something truly memorable. And I don't think, after reading this, I don't think it's as hard as we think it is. But we don't spend the time doing it. We spend the time, especially like me, I'll spend hours, five hours learning a slide. Imagine if I spent five hours on this to give that slide some sort of emotional context or, or humorous context or something. So it's it's really, I'm so glad I read it. I'm so glad it's not awkward. I'm, I think it's absolutely brilliant. I think you are, you're given, someone's given you this and gone, this is what I do, have it. And, I, and I, it means so much to me that I'm not going to even put my own name on it because I don't want people to find it that aren't connected to what we do. We have no excuse now. This doesn't, I'm not off the hook anymore. And, and that's the thing, if you're like me and you said, oh, I'm not a creative person, I'm, I'm just, I'm more someone that just, you know, uses humor a bit and I do the routines as to, it, we've got no excuse now. This is brilliant. And I, I, if you, someone, someone said to me on the Card Magic course the other day when we were doing our live session, you know, I, I, I want to talk about how, how to get a character, not necessarily a big theatrical character, but how to put character behind your work, your card magic. And I kind of, I had a book on the shelf that was actually an acting book called Acting Characters. And I, I said, that's the only book I've got on this. And it would be nice actually to have a book for magicians. And I don't know if there is one. Now, I know there's lots of books with stuff about character in, but and I'm sure there are books I haven't read about character. But this is, I came off that, started reading this after that. And it was just luck that I went, oh, this is the book you need. That's it. Okay, so... There it is, uh, Anton's Start and a Book. Uh, you can get this from uh, www.antonbook.com. Okay, antonbook.com. You can buy Start on its own, you can buy them as a package or that on its own. I really recommend it. It's not your usual trick book. Yes, it's got the routines in it, but it's for people that want to learn how to put their own stuff together, memorable stuff. And just so you know, the ability of the tricks, most of the tricks routines now are fairly easy to do. Um, excuse me, there's one that takes a bit of work that's gonna, but most of them, most people are gonna be able to do them. Excuse me. Uh, and the, or the other thing I was gonna say, um, oh yes, and it's mostly, I would say, parlor and stage. Some of it, there's two things that do definitely work on close up, and they would work on close up, definitely in a table, but more, well, it's mentalism, so you, 
as, as most mentalism works better if it's got a few people around it. So thanks very much. Do like, subscribe, share it if you like it. Do talk about it on the forums if you think people would benefit uh, from it. And stay safe. Have a good one. And check out carmagiccourse.com, of course. See ya.